Dale Johnston was convicted of killing his stepdaughter and her fiance in Hocking County in the 1980s before being freed from death row in the 90s. But years later, he says he is still working to get the state to say he's innocent. 10 TV's Kevin Landers spoke with Johnston about why he is now suing the state of Ohio. Kevin? Well, this is not the first time Dale Johnston has tried to clear his name. He has sued the state before for wrongful imprisonment, and each time the courts have rejected his plea. Tonight, the 78 year old Grove City man is speaking out about his latest attempt on a case that's now three decades old. Somebody else killed my daughter. I got blamed for it. I want that rectified. On October 14, 1982, the body of his 18-year-old stepdaughter and her 19-year-old fiancé were found here in the Hocking River. Annette Cooper and Todd Schultz were dismembered. Parts of their body were found in the river. Other parts were found in a cornfield. Johnston was convicted of the double murder. He appealed and won his freedom, but not before spending five years on death row. Well, this is what happens when the uh, system can be abused. The case was dropped after it was learned witness statements that could have helped prove his innocence were hidden at trial along with other errors. Another man, Chester McKnight, pled guilty to the murders in 2008. Now Johnston is suing the state again for wrongful imprisonment. Well, I'm trying to get my name cleared. Uh, that has never been done. He also wants to be compensated. The state filed this answer denying his request saying he doesn't qualify. And while the courts admit there wasn't enough evidence to convict, there are questions about his true innocence. He admits telling police that during the search for his daughter and her fiancé, he had a vision of water and trees where the bodies would be found. I was trying to help him in any way I could find out where the kids were. People would say that's the conscience of a guilty man. Well, people don't understand psychics. He says he's not a psychic anymore, but says it still eats at him that people think he played a role in the murders. To those people, he says this. I mean, they got their heads in their butt. They're not listening to facts. Now, the attorney general says Johnston does not qualify for a wrongful imprisonment declaration because he doesn't meet all five of the criteria. One says a person cannot have a criminal act tied to their conviction. In Johnston's case, the state says he admitted to sexual contact with his stepdaughter, something Johnson adamantly denies. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.